Hello and welcome to Wageningen University and Research. I'm Lizzie and today in this video we are going to be talking to two people from the Masters of Biotechnology. Can you please introduce yourselves? Hi, I'm Tessie and a Master student of Biotechnology. And I'm Sonja Isken and I'm the Program Director of that Master Program. So in this video we're just going to go over some questions about the Masters of Biotechnology. So first and foremost, can you please explain what the program is about? Yeah, biotechnology um, studies organisms or parts of organisms in industrial processes and the Dutch Society for Biotechnology there has used the hourglass already for long to explain what biotechnology is. And they say like the particles in the sand have to come together on one narrow point uh, to go from the top to the bottom. Disciplines have to work together very closely at one point to make applications possible. And the disciplines that are interesting for us in biotechnology that we need, they originate from chemistry, like biochemistry, a lot from biology, like molecular biology, microbiology, cell biology, virology, systems biology, but also from engineering, from process engineering. And only if they all work together, then you can come to applications. And there are really broad types of applications. You can think about medical applications like vaccines, drugs, also other fine chemicals but also more traditional uh, food applications, uh, applications in environmental technology like bioenergy, but also in the past few years more and more replacement of fossil fuels, biomaterials, bio-based products. So that's what biotechnology is about. Yeah, it's fascinating. So Tessie, um, why did you choose this program to study? I really like the diversity in the program, so you're looking to very lots of uh, disciplines and applications. And what I also like about the program is that you don't only look to the small things like the cells and the molecular um, parts in the cells, but also to the bigger part, so the bioreactors and how you can use these in processes. So what specializations are available in the program and what are some of the differences between the specializations? Now we offer five different specializations. Two are more linked to disciplines, that is the cellular molecular biotechnology, that's more the biological part of biotechnology. And the other, the second is process technology, more the engineering part. And then we have three that are linked to applications themselves, food, medical, and environmental and bio-based technology. So what courses are available in the program and is there any flexibility? Yeah, there's actually only one course every student of our program has to follow, and that is the end of the first year, the course in bioprocess design. Uh, in principle, we have in the first year courses that you follow in classes, and the second year it's research. And within those courses in the first year, it's only this one course that everybody has to do, and the other courses, that depends on the choices of the student. At first, you choose your specialization, and for every specialization, you have to do two courses that belong to that specialization and then two courses from a very long list of different courses that you offered linked to the content of the specialization and how the courses you can choose from all the master programs, all the master courses offered at this university. So you can do them from another specialization or some more from this long list of courses that we offer, but also if you want to from other master courses. So in that way the first year already differs for every student. And then in the second year, we have research thesis and internship. So Tessie, what was the most exciting course that you've done in this particular program and why? I think for me, uh, the most exciting courses were a uh, virology course, which I had, and transfer processes. Because they're really uh, like how you can use the bioreactors to produce things. Mm -hmm. um, but I also like that you can make your own program, so you can really decide which courses you want to follow and mix different specializations together that you get really the program you want. So how do students find an internship and is there any support from the program? Now most students find their internship with the help of the chair where they do the thesis. So most students do a thesis, a research project, and during that project they have a personal supervisor and that supervisor is often the one who helps students to find a nice internship. Students are allowed to search for themselves, but normally that's done by the supervisor okay. from the chair when I do the scenes. Okay. And Tess, so Tessie, you're currently doing your thesis now, is that correct? Yeah, that's true. Yes. Yeah. So what is your thesis on? Can you tell us a bit about it? 
So I'm currently working on the development of a vaccine for chikungunya virus. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm doing that by the virus expression system in insect cells. So you're not only looking to the small system, but also to the big bioreactors. Mm, yeah, like you're mentioning before. And yeah. you said before that one of your in most interesting courses was virology. Did that Was that thesis a result of doing that topic? Yeah, exactly. That really made the, made the switch that I wanted to do that. Yeah. yeah, so it's interesting how lots of the courses can lead directly into a thesis and then potentially an internship. Yeah. So the university asks for a relevant bachelor's degree in the admissions process. So what is a relevant bachelor's degree for a master's of biotechnology? Yeah, of course, a bachelor of biotechnology is always relevant, but in many countries all over the world, uh, there is not a bachelor of biotechnology. They don't offer it. Sometimes it has different names. In some countries, it's covered by biological sciences, but it's also that we enroll students from chemical engineering and chemical uh, technology, because they also have a good preparation for the more engineering linked part. Um, so there are a number of relevant programs and I always have students ask me and they just submit it so that we can have a look at the courses because we have a committee looking really at the courses students study in the bachelor and whether they prepare well enough for our program. And we enroll as long as we think that students will be able to graduate within the two academic years. Okay. So what is the difference between the biotechnology masters offered here and some other masters and other programs? Uh, biotechnology here in Wageningen is one of the life science programs, but it's one of the three programs in Wageningen that really has a clear engineering part as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, programs like molecular uh, life sciences or plant sciences, uh, they don't have the engineering part, but of course uh, life science courses. Biotechnology uh, yeah, offers life science courses in combination with engineering. Okay. So, that so a nice mixture of life science and engineering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that is, yeah. And Tessie, can you tell me something perhaps about the diversity of the program? So what the background of the students are? I think there are a lot of international students. So during the bachelor, we are only with like Dutch students almost. And uh, in the most, it's really nice that you have a mixture of all kinds of international students from all over the world. Yeah, definitely. And so what is um, the contact experience like with, say, the teachers or professors um, through this program? I think there's a really nice ratio between students and uh, teachers. So you have really close contact, especially with practicals, but also during lectures. You can always ask them something or send them an email if you have questions later on. Yeah. yeah, nice. Excellent. And so to your point before about how this program has a lot of international students, um, are there any sort of extracurricular activities or other social sort of events that are organised that the students, both Dutch and international, can experience? Yes, I think there are many uh, experiences which you can do as, as both international or Dutch students. Uh, first of all, there are like lots of uh, things organized by the uh, study association, CODOM. They organize lots of activities uh, which are fun, like dinners or drinks, but also uh, business talks and that kind of stuff. Uh, we also have a yearly uh, biotechnology excursion to an international place. Okay, now on to our final question. What should someone do if they have additional questions about the Masters of Biotechnology program or about studying at Wageningen University in general? Now, if students have questions on the program, on the content, on the setup, uh, they're all welcome to send an email to us, to the study program, to me. And the best is to send an email to um, mbt.msc at vue.nl because then our secretary always reads it and if she can answer an easy question immediately she will and otherwise she asks me to, uh, to give the answer to that question. Uh, however, if, if you have questions more concerning student life or uh, a question where you think I wouldn't like to ask a teacher but I prefer to ask a student, we also have a student coach, um, always a student who likes to give answers and then they can send an email to that person. It's also possible. Sadly, that's all we have time for today. I hope that we provided you with some more information about the Masters of Biotechnology program here at Wageningen University. If you have any additional questions or just want some more general information about the program, please email us at students at were.nl. In addition, I would encourage you to check out the video called Essentials for Studying at Wageningen University as it covers things like the admissions process, scholarship possibilities, and everything else that you need to know to study here.
Thank you very much for watching and hopefully we will see you sometime in the future at Wagen University.